everybody, this is Amy. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great summer. Can you believe that summer is actually gonna be coming to a close here soon? We have school starting in just a few more weeks. I thought today would be a really fun time for us to talk about some of the fun things that we did this summer. We could tell each other some stories about some fun things that we did. And in order to do that, I have a fun puzzle that we can use. It's called a tangram and it looks like this. A tangram is a puzzle with a lot of different shapes. When you cut out those shapes, you can rearrange them to make figures, just like you see at the top up here. Now, if you have a printer at home, you can click on the link on the Siouxland Library's Facebook and print out your own tangram, and then you could color it however you'd like. Otherwise, you can also stop into the Siouxland Library branches and pick up a tangram to take home, as long as the supplies last. Now, once you get all your shapes cut out, this is what you're gonna have. You will have two medium triangles, I'm sorry, two large triangles, one medium triangle, two small triangles, a square, and a parallelogram. Now we can put those together to make a shape. I'll show you what I mean. Follow along with me while we make the first one. To start with, you're gonna take your two large triangles. Let's put one of our triangles right there. Now the other triangle is going to go right here on top of him, sort of like that. Now let's get our square. Our square we're going to put, let's put him right about there. Okay, let's find our parallelogram. Our parallelogram, we're going to put him up here on the top. Now, if you think you might know what this is, go ahead and say it out loud, and then you'll find out if you're right when we're done. Take your medium triangle, and let's put him right there. Oh, we gotta fix our big triangle here. All right, now we have our two small triangles left. Let's put them right there, and right there. Let's turn that one. There we go, we'll turn it that way. All right, let's take a look at our shape. What do you guys see there? Do you see anything in that shape? That is actually a fox. If you can see, he's a fox that's jumping. Do you see the fox now? Here's his tail and his ears, his legs down here. And that's how a tangram works. You move the shapes around to create a different figure. Now, let's use this fox we created to tell a story about what we did this summer. It can be real or it can be imaginary. I'll go first. My fox story for the summer is, one day I was out hiking with my family and we saw a red fox sitting by the side of the road. Now, do you think that story was real or was it imaginary? If you said it was real, you were right. I really did see a red fox when I was outside this summer. Now it's your turn. I want you to tell me a story about your summer with a fox in it. Remember, it can be real or it can be imaginary. It's gonna be a fast story five second story. So while I count to five, you tell me your story. Ready? Go. That was a great story. Now, was it real or was it imaginary? Fantastic. Great job. Okay, let's take our fox down and we'll get ready to make another figure. Okay, let's get ready for our second figure. This time we're gonna start with our small triangle. All right, follow along with me. Let's put this one way up on the top. All right, next we're gonna need a medium triangle. He's gonna go right here. All right, let's get one of your big triangles. Let's put the big triangle. Oh, let's put him right that way. Now remember, if you think you know what it is, go ahead and say it out loud. We're gonna take your second big triangle. He's going to go right there. All right, next, let's get your square. Let's put Mr. Square right about there. All right, let's get your small triangle. Let's put your small triangle right here. Any ideas yet what we might be making? Last, we have our parallelogram. Let's put parallelogram right here. All right, take a look at our figure we made. What do you guys think this is? If you said rocket ship, you are correct. We made a rocket ship. 
Okay, now what we have to do next, let's tell our rocket ship stories. I'll go first. My story from the summer about a rocket ship is, I rode a rocket ship so high up into the sky that we went to Jupiter for summer vacation. Do you think that story was real or was it imaginary? You are right, that was an imaginary story. I did not really go to Jupiter for summer vacation. Okay, it's your turn. Tell me your imaginary or real story about a rocket ship from this summer. All right, five second story, you ready? Go. Great job, you guys are getting really good at these fast stories. Now tell me, was your story real or imaginary? Perfect, all right. Are you ready to make a third figure? Let's take our rocket ship down. Okay guys, are you ready to make our third shape? Are you starting to get the hang of this tangram and how it works? Okay, follow along with me. See if you can figure this shape out before we get done with it. First, you're gonna need a big triangle. We are gonna put our big triangle right there. All right, get your second big triangle. Let's put him right there. So this is what we have so far. All right, next we want that medium triangle. Let's put the medium triangle right here. All right, let's grab a small triangle. Let's put our small triangle right there. Okay, let's get our second small triangle. Let's put him right about there. That's our second small triangle. Now, how about your parallelogram? Let's put our parallelogram, let's put it down here on the box, on the edge over there. Okay, our last figure we need is our square. Let's put our square right up here. Hmm, what could that be? This one might be a little trickier. Do you see a person riding a horse? Look at that, there's a person. There's the horse's feet, the horse head, the horse tail, and this is our person on top of the horse. All right, let's do our stories about riding horses. Okay, my story, I'll go first. This summer, I went camping with my family and we went horseback riding. That was my horse story. Do you think it's real or imaginary? It was a real story. I really did go horseback riding this summer. Okay, now it's your turn. Tell me your real or imaginary story from the summer about a horse. Ready, set, go. Okay, was your story real or imaginary? Awesome, you guys are getting really good at this real or imaginary thing. Okay, let's do one more figure. Let's take our horse down and we'll do one more. Okay, let's get started on our final figure that we're gonna make together. All right, let's start with a small triangle. He's gonna go kind of towards the bottom down here. All right, now we are gonna need a big triangle. Okay, let's put your big triangle, let's put him right about there. Let's get one more big triangle. He's gonna go right next to the other one. He's gonna go right there. So we've got a little triangle with our two big triangles on top of them. There we go. All right, now let's get your square. Let's put our square right about there. All right, let's not forget Mr. Parallelogram. Let's put Mr. Parallelogram right here on this end. Hmm, what do you guys think? This one's a little bit of a mystery. What do you think that might be? Any ideas yet? We'll wait and see, we only have two figures left to go. Let's get our medium triangle. Let's put medium triangle, well, let's see. Let's put him right about here. All right, we have one more. Let's see if this last piece will tell us what it is. Small triangle. Let's put small triangle up here on top of our square. All right, take a look guys, what do you see? Do you see a figure in here? That is a chicken, or if you said a rooster, you are correct, do you see? His feet down here, he's got some feathers, here's his head, we made a chicken. All right, let's tell our summer stories that have a chicken in them. All right, here's my story. This summer I went out in my backyard and I saw a chicken that was as tall as my house and he was purple with pink polka dots. Do you think that was a real story or an imaginary story? If you said imaginary, you are right. I did not really see a big giant purple chicken in my backyard. 
Okay, your turn. Think of a short five second story that you can tell me from the summer about a chicken. All right, are you ready? Go. That was great. You guys have some really fun stories. Okay, real or was it imaginary? Was your story real or imaginary? Great job. Okay, these are the last figures we're going to make together, but you can keep doing that at home. Keep using your imagination. You can make all kinds of designs with your tangram pieces. And you can show them to your friends, to your family, tell them your stories from the summer. And you can also share them with us here at Siouxland Libraries. We want to see your tangram creations, so share them on social media using hashtag SFTimeCapsule so that we can see your tangram creations as well. All right, thanks for joining me, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your summer, and I hope you have fun with your tangram. Goodbye.